Hello everyone, this is Green Fire, and I am starting to play Planet Side 2. Now, as a short disclaimer, I have not played an FPS game on the computer at all. I don't think Rule of Tanks counts. And neither have I owned an FPS game. I've only leached some Halo time off my friends on some consoles. But otherwise, this is going to get very interesting. I am, well, a considerable newbie, I guess. So, let's see where we go. Um, I've looked on YouTube, tried to get lots of videos. I tried to get the starter pack, but Sony has their entertainment system down for now. So, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I think I'll choose a new conglomerate based off what I saw online. And we'll go US West. see what they got. Everybody's taking my name, looks like. They definitely need some more pictures to choose from. Pretty smooth. My mouse is extremely sensitive. Use the mouse to turn and look up and down. The jump key is used to hurdle battlefield obstacles, but jumping greatly reduces. The crouch key can be used to duck down and make yourself a smaller target. the sprint key while moving I will make you run cool. faster but you cannot use any weapons while sprinting and it takes longer to pull out your weapon after you stop gravity pads can move you up and down quickly just step on the pad and you'll ascend or descend in the direction of the flowing particles this is going to take some getting used to but it looks like there's just sure lots of buttons to press. Capture okay. and hold these points to take control of the region. A successful so upgrade must up be maintained in order to complete the transfer of control. So you need to keep the enemy off the point if you want to liberate the area. It's through here, I don't know. That would be the reload button. When you interact with the terminal, your view will switch to a... To change classes, interact with an equipment terminal, then select the class you'd like to use on the left side of the menu. To equip that class, click the resupply button. Try changing classes to a combat medic. I don't want to change classes to a combat medic. 
Well, I guess they want me to. Well, should I try another one? Let's try combat. Your man. weapons are just as dangerous to your teammates as they are to the enemy. So it is essential you learn how to identify friend from foe. By default, your teammates all have friendly blue triangle indicators above their heads. And their names show up when you point your crosshair near them. Enemy players do not have any indicators above them unless they're spotted. Press the spot key while you have an enemy in your crosshair to mark them for yourself and for nearby friendly players. The simplest form of shooting is hip fire, where you shoot without careful aiming. The area between the crosshair ticks shows where your shots will land when you fire your weapon. This area is referred to as your cone of fire. Try shooting some targets using hip fire. using hip fire. You can also aim down the sights of your weapon by right clicking on your mouse. This will greatly improve accuracy, but penalize your movement. Head shots will do more damage to your target, especially if you're using a high-powered sniper rifle. You will automatically reload your weapon when you empty the magazine. You can reload before the magazine is empty using the reload key. You can switch weapons and items by pressing your weapon slot keys or by scrolling the mouse wheel. Switching to your pistol is faster than reloading your primary weapon. The use ability key is used by some classes to activate their special class defining ability, such as the cloaking device for the infiltrator, the shield for heavy assault, or the group heal for the combat medic. Take some time to get comfortable with shooting and familiarize yourself with your weapons and classes. Heavy assault infantry carry anti-vehicle rocket launchers, light machine guns, and have an improved nanite shield for absorbing more damage than other classes. Looks like we got a rocket launcher. Yeah, what is that? It's like a shotgun. Oh, here we go. And he's still alive. I'll have to be tweaking my graphics here, see if I can get them as high as possible. I should be able to run them higher than this. Started them out pretty low. The infiltrator is a sniper class with a short duration cloaking ability, spotting tools, and the ability to hack enemy terminals so your team can use them. I still don't know what that gun does yet. Maybe I should look that up. I see it so often on the internet. Um. Light Assault is a close to medium range skirmisher that has a jet pack for extreme mobility and can quickly flank enemy positions. provide quick transportation within the facility. Step on the pad to begin the process. Death is inevitable, but there are many ways to get back into the fight. Every friendly facility has a protected spawn room where you can prepare before moving out. 
Thunderer vehicles can also be equipped with a mobile spawn capability. You can also redeploy back to a friendly facility using the redeploy mechanism. Use redeploy to respawn at this facility. I do not know where they want me to go. Got a waypoint upstairs. Sure, it's through here. Use redeploy to respawn oh, at this facility. Is that what they want? My goodness, they could be a little bit more clear, I think. your only threat. Our outdoor range also has vehicle targets. Most vehicles are resistant to small arms fire, and some, like tanks, are completely immune. For these threats, you have to use rocket launchers and other more powerful ordnance. The heavy assault is the class B. Switch to your rocket launcher and use it to blow up an enemy vehicle. Tanks have strong front armor, but are more vulnerable on the sides and rear. Some more vulnerable on the sides. I think I know that by now. <laughs> Looks like I'm damaging myself. Let's see if this works. Looks like it's still. This thrust pad will move you around the facility quickly. If you step onto the pad, you'll be jettisoned at high velocity in the direction the pad is pointing. An inertial dampener is in place to allow for a safe landing. I wish I could zoom out and look in third person, but you know, this is FPS. The graphics and everything sure look pretty good. I'll switch to a faster class here. will move you around the facility quickly. If you step onto the pad, you'll be jettisoned at high velocity in the direction the pad is pointing. An inertial dampener is in place to allow vehicle terminals are where you can create your own vehicles for your use. There are many types of vehicles available, from quads to tanks to large transport aircraft. In one vehicle that is always available at every friendly facility is the Flash. This vehicle is excellent for spawning vehicles cost resources. Secure this objective. This nanite ammunition depot can quickly resupply ammunition for all types of ground vehicles. Ammunition is replicated directly into the vehicle's weapon system, so no manual interaction is needed. Secure this objective. Oh. More. This type of generator maintains power to the perimeter shield, preventing ground vehicles from breaching the facility. Shield and generator critical. Generator destroyed. destroyed. This type of generator maintained power. Warp terminals have a globe icon and are marked on your minimap and heads up display. Terminals allow long 
long-range transportation for infantry units. It allows a soldier to travel any linked location in an instant. Every continent where we have a foothold, you will find a warp gate facility with access to all vehicles and terminals. You can also use instant action to get right into the fight. This will initiate a short countdown and then take you to a fight where you're needed. You can access instant action anywhere by pressing your instant action key. To complete your training, use instant action to get into the fight. Well, it looks like we're going to get started here. But I still don't know what some of these do. So I'm going to run around a bit. I just... Looks like they gave, gave out some starter gear I chose for the infiltrator class. More terminals. Should I do training or should I not? Hmm. moves okay it's a different different pattern my aiming circle never moved in world tanks let's go upstairs So, while you're cloaked, you can't shoot. I find that weird. They don't want ninjas or something like that. This is so awkward. But maybe if I just stay away from the enemy for a little bit, I can use my sniper. Always remember. Your new conglomerate. That means you're fighting for more than just some facility. Good luck down there. People sneak up behind me. Oh well, we'll get the hang of this sometime. I need to get at least one kill. We've lost the facility. Okay, we lost. How about that?
looks like we're out of the action a little bit, but we'll find a way to get there. Someplace. my way. 